Okay, let's work through week five tutorial question one. So the question is asking you to explore the paint method and see when it's run. For example, can it be invoked multiple times? Is it invoked when another program's window covers your applet's window and then the focus returns to your applet? And you might think, well, that's a strange question to ask. Why are you asking that? Why should we explore that? Well, I'm just trying to get students used to exploring, comfortable with exploring. And when you, ex when you explore Java and you find out more about Java, you become more comfortable and um, you become perhaps encouraged to explore further. Okay, so it is a good thing to do. Have a bit of a play around, have an explore. And you can learn a lot while you're exploring as well. And you never know when these things might come in useful. Okay, so uh, that's the question. And it says uh, 20 minutes to, uh, to do that. That's the yes amount, of, amount of time. I think we can do it inside the 20 minutes. So let's have a go. So what we're going to need then, uh, there's a hint down the bottom there. Um, create an applet with a single label and set the label to a new value each time the paint method is executed. Okay, so that's the hint that we've, we've got there. Okay, so here we've got TextPad and we're going to start with public class, good old public class that we start every project with. So public class, I'll call it week five, question one, uh, paint applet. So it's an applet we're creating. So I'll include applet in the title, okay? And um, open curly brackets, close curly brackets. And if anyone's seen me K before, they always see me do that. And the first thing I do also is put a comment on the closing braces so we can tell when we've got a program with lots of braces where the code starts and ends. So that's something I do in all my programs. I'll copy, copy that and I'll save the applet. And um, it's week five Q1 paint applet. Okay, so we've saved that now already. Um, it's an applet, so we've got to add extends applet there. Extends applet. So I've added that in. And to work with applets, we need to do an import. Okay, and does anyone remember what the import is for applets? That's correct, it's applet.applet. .applet. Okay, so we've done the import there. The question asks us to use a label, so we'll just add one label. Label, um, applet label. So we're creating a label there, and we need our, our, our init method now to add that label to the user interface. And also we also need, also need an import for our label as well. So we'll do an import. So there's our import for that. So you can see how I leave myself plenty of space and the first thing I do is I put the opening and closing curly brackets in and I put comments on the closing curly braces straight away. That way you can never lose track of where your closing braces are. Okay, and what we want to do in here is add the label to our user interface. So add output label. Okay, so now we've got a method or a, an applet that has one label and it's adding it to the user interface. So we just do a compile here and make sure it compiles. Oh, oh, sorry, extends applet. Should be extends applet. And okay, that's better. It's gone blue now, so we know it's right. Okay, tool completed successfully. So we've got a, com a clean compile there. Okay, next thing to do is add, um, add a paint method. Paint. And it takes a graphics object. I'll call it G, we could call it whatever we want, we could call it Fred if we wanted. And the first thing I'll do is uh, put a comment on there. Okay. Um, okay, so we've made an error there. Hmm, okay, so um, it's saying graphics is not understood. If we scroll across read the error message, you cannot find symbol graphics. Okay, so Java's telling us we need an import for that as well. Okay, and the import for that's java.awt.graphics. Okay, so uh, compile again. Good, it's all okay. Okay, then down in here we want to set the label to something. Label.set text. And for now, let's put double quote, double quote in there. So we're going to work out what we're going to set it to in a second. Okay, so let's look at all our code. So we've got some imports here at the top. We've got a public class statement that extends applet because we're building an applet. We've got our label being declared. Okay, and initialize to blank label. 
Our init method adds the label to the interface and the paint method does a set text on the label. So we're going to set it to something and um, at the moment we're just setting it to double quote, double quote, so an empty, an empty label. Okay, so if we run this paint applet now, uh, it will just display a blank screen because the applet's got no data in it. It's just a blank label. Okay, so um, what we can do So we'll declare an integer called count, add one to count, and then we can display that count in a the label there if we just concatenate it onto that string. Okay, now I've declared the, int, the count integer local to the paint method. So every time the paint method is run, the count integer is going to be created and initialized to zero. One is going to be added to it, and we're going to see the value one being output on the label. If the paint method runs again, the integer count is going to be created again, initialized to zero again, one added to it again, and the value one displayed on screen. So all we'll see on screen is one, 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 whenever the paint method's run. So that's not very exciting. So what we want to do then is move this up into the class data level so that the value of count is remembered and preserved between method runs. Okay, just like we spoke about in the lecture with keeping track of totals and averages and things like that. Okay, so exactly the same principle. So we'll make the count now class data. So it's declared up at class level. And when we do that, we can initialize it up here, but it's usually much better to initialize your data inside the constructor or inside the init method. Okay, so we'll just initialize count in here. So when the, when the, when the methods, when the applet's first displayed, um, count will be initialized to zero. When the paint method executes, the value of count will be incremented by one, and then that updated value will be displayed on screen. Okay, so let's run through our code. We've got our imports at the top, our public class statement extending applet. We've got one class data item now called count and a label. Okay, and then the init method initializes count to zero, adds a label to our user interface. And then the paint method adds one to the count and displays that count inside the label on the user interface. Okay, so now when we see our applets window covered up, we should hopefully see that count value increment. Okay, so we should see one, two, three, four, five going on. What I might do as well is just make the label a bit bigger, just so we can handle bigger numbers without having the label chunk chopped off. So I might make the count a bit, a little bit bigger. Okay, the label a bit bigger at the top there. Okay, so let's compile that. I'll go Control One. Good, we're good to go, and we'll run it as an applet. Okay, so there's what I'm seeing there on screen: a great big user interface with one, a value one there. So let me now grab. Um, our tutorial questions and I'll just move that over the label and we'll just see it change. And look at the count value go crazy there. I'm just dragging this this word this word document over the top of our applet and you can see the label changing there. Okay, look at it change. Just as I move it, I'm just moving it across the screen there. And uh, I'm nowhere near the label, but the paint method's still running. Okay, so that's just pretty interesting, isn't it? The paint method's running whenever something is obscuring the applet's window and the applet thinks it needs to redraw the window. Okay, so that's when they, uh, the paint method runs. So very interesting that. Uh, walk through the code and see if you can do this question on your own now. Okay, hope this helped.